G'day, Greg Miller from The Joy of Wood. I love spoon carving. I got lots of spoons that I've made. I got lots of unfinished spoons as well. I got heaps of them, they're everywhere. This is one I'm working on at the moment, made from a piece of banksia. And so we've got a generic banksia kind of leaf happening just here with its twists and turns. Just a bit of fun. You can all starts with a often these spoon blanks like we sell. This is a beautiful piece of hoop pine. It's deceptively tough. Uh, it's what I'd call a large spoon blank from our shop. Uh, so how do we get started with it? Well, I've drawn a bit of a circle just here. I'm gonna to start to hollow that out. Now I can just go straight in with a hook knife. And I'll put it in my hand for now. And I can just start chipping away in here with a hook knife, working across the grain and take that out of there. All right, so this blade goes both directions, so I can chip away in there, or if I've got one of these other single direction blades, I can get in there. I wanna show you this. I love doing this with a gouge. We're gonna use the, a gouge in a pairing action. This is a long bent Beavercraft one, uh, which we'll get in with a nice oak handle, got a copper ferrule, We've got a 22 mils across here and a number seven sweep. It's actually a really nice tool, so a bit of a bend in it. And we can use that to get the ball rolling. That pairing action, love, you. love that sound, hey? So this is a really nice way to get it started. And it's then it's so much easier to come in with the hook knives once you get it going. So I'm working from this outside edge, working my way across. Then what I'll do is I'll come in from the other direction. Now this is where you might have the luxury of a vise to be able to do this. And away we go, working across the other direction. But wait, there's more. Okay, so what if you're not working at a bench? You might have one of our famous lap benches for carving. Here's this beautiful gouge. Change of technique. I'm still going to pair it, but instead of going this way, I'm going to put it in my hand that way and pair it like that. Beautiful. How's that? That works pretty good. I can bring it around this way as well. Come across here. You can't see that very well from there, can you? But that action there with the thumb rolling like that is very effective. I can still come in with my hook knives. I can still work across the grain this way. But the gouge is really good for getting it started and for doing easy, quick stock removal. Here's another Beavercraft SK1 left. It works across from that direction. That works really well in there. I'm going to bring it in closer. beauty about this lap bench is it's got these nice places where you can stick it and hold it. So I can rotate that around, I can come across here, work my way around and just take this out. Once we get this to be a smooth thing down in here, it just gets so much easier. This is very, very hardwood and this gouge is doing beautifully. I'm carefully working my way back, cutting down across, the, down along the grain, I'm working downhill. So I'm pushing my line back out that direction.
Anyway, I just wanted to show you, this gouge is pretty nifty. Working on my lap bench, I can come back to this type of pairing with two hands, get that chunk out of the middle. But it's often easier with that other method with a thumb at the top. Nice, eh? That's the one. Beautiful. Very cool. Beavercraft long bent gouge number 722 is a ripper. Enjoy your spoon carving. I certainly do. Cheers. Beautiful pairing action. You notice my left hand is right down here, close to the action. So it's a bit like my depth stop. And it pushing down here helps to keep the bevel in contact with the material, so we get that nice cut. Because it's a bent gouge, you ain't gonna end up quite high up as you come around the corner with the top of the handle. It's an action using my shoulder and elbow and this hand down the bottom. This is beautiful. So we'll be able to do a lot of that waste removal with this and then go in and clean it out with a hook knife. Nice tool.